we're on the series here. Yeah. Last night, Kevin went into the storm. <laughs> And you got <laughs> messed up the vehicle, didn't you? We did Thanks a little moment. bit. We did a little bit, and we'll show you that here coming up. When we left you yesterday, we were, of course, intercepting that tornado in Wyoming. Now, tonight, we take a look at what happened to the crew who got also caught in that hail and find out just how successful of an intercept this was. One word could explain how the crew of Vortex 2 felt after the tornado intercept. Finally. These graduate students were elated to finally have intercepted a tornado for the first time this season, but some of their other team members intercepted hail. Oh, we easily, softballs, maybe larger, downdraft driven, just destroyed our anemometer, got dents all over the side of the car, the roof's trashed, and our window is gone. There's glass on the inside of the car. That's right, demolished. Look at these still images from inside of the van. What would it sound like? Amazing. <laughs> it was so much fun. It's just, I mean, there's nothing like watching a hailstone this big just slam into the window. Oh my gosh, look, look at that. that. Look at that dent. While some people would not be too happy about getting caught up in this type of hail, Sean was more than happy to do this to help the cause. Right, yeah, we got some good data. I think it was really worth it. Speaking of getting great data, Dr. Josh Warman was equally pleased with the historic intercept. It's probably the best intercept of any tornado ever. We had more instruments on that tornado for a longer time than has ever been done before scientifically. Look at these reflectivity images from the storm. You can see the classic hook and then of course the velocity couplet which shows winds in the storm. As a matter of fact, one of the radars recorded this spectacular view of the storm that almost looks like the eye of a hurricane. The entire group of 100 scientists obviously very happy with the outcome. So this Goshen County, Wyoming tornado will most likely go down in the books as one of the most famous because of the future papers, textbooks, and dissertations that will most likely be written about it. And this will be a data set that's probably looked at for 10 years or longer. So I think for years, students and scientists will be looking at this as one of the best data sets ever in a tornado. When you think of it that way, it's pretty amazing. It makes all the time spent driving, staying in hotels, eating gas station food, and living out of a suitcase all worth the while. While this tornado chase season is over, scientists will spend the next 11 months looking at the data and then gearing up for next May and the next Vortex 2 tornado chase. Well, the total cost of this mission, $10 million. So $5 million down for this year, another $5 million to spend next spring as the, as the crew goes out once again. Now, I also want to show you some of the shots of the hail that our vehicle got into. There it is. That is the size of a baseball. Take a look at that. Luckily, it went through on the passenger side, not the driver's side. It just shows you even train spotters sometimes. Well, Mother Nature can still get the best of you there. So, Wow. Yeah. It was, it Did was you amazing. get in trouble for that? Yeah, who's paying for that? That's a good question, <laughs> Michelle. It's, it's taken care of. Nice job. Yeah. So it was great to be yeah. out here. So again, oh, next spring, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle's like, only if I get to go, too, right? No. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah.